a trip to the stratosphere. We're going to be launching a weather balloon to the stratosphere, and this is a tiny model of what our weather balloon is going to look like. The balloon will be filled with helium, the parachute will help it fall back to Earth, and then the payload will be filled with our computer devices and our experiments. It is going to be 6 feet in diameter on Earth, but in the stratosphere it's going to be 30 feet. We came up with a lot of experiment ideas, and then we voted on which ones we wanted to send up. Going to the stratosphere is big, so I wanted to do something huge. So I came up with the idea of, of making a space volcano, a baking soda vinegar space volcano to send up to the stratosphere. We came up with so many ideas how a volcano could go off in space and made so many prototypes like engineers. We figured out how to put vinegar in a balloon or bag so it'll expand and explode. Then we had a problem getting the bag of vinegar to pop in the vacuum chamber. At first we thought it was because there was liquid in it. So we tried putting the baking soda in a bag instead, but that didn't pop either. So I thought maybe that I needed air and then air in it to expand. And then we found out a way to put air and vinegar in it at the same time. And then we tried it in the vacuum chamber and it worked. The classroom smelled like vinegar for days. We thought our biggest problem was going to be temperature. It's going to go to 20 miles in the air and negative 60 degrees. But turns out weight's our biggest issue. Because of weight reasons, we had to keep the vinegar in a small amount. So the chances of it freezing is pretty high. We wrapped it in hot hands and put it in the teacher's lounge freezer. The hot hands were cold, but the vinegar was still liquid. Freezing are zero degrees, not negative 60. That does not mean it won't freeze in a stratosphere. We're gonna send it up and see if it works. We're going to expect the worst, but hope for the best. You're gonna send up a crushed pop bottle to see if it'll stay crushed without the air pressure of the troposphere pushing on it. We put our sponsor's logos on the pop bottle in case it doesn't expand. Here they are. Thank you. Our balloon landed three and a half hours away. Since we launched on a Monday, Mrs. Lyons couldn't get there after school and have enough daylight to look for our balloon. We worried we'd have to let it sit there until Saturday. Never fear, Marvin is here! Meet Marvin. He is very nice and offered to be our balloon recovery team. He went looking for the balloon and found the people that owned the property and landed on very nice people, the Johnsons, not only gave Marvin permission to go on their land and search for the balloon, they even helped. They drove Marvin in their ATV and even gave him permission to cut down several trees that were stuck in. They got it back! The Johnsons kept our payload safe until Miss Lyons could drive there the next day to get it. 
None of them had to be so nice, but it made 74 fifth graders very happy that they were. The world needs more people like them. Keep being so kind. I bet you're wondering what happened to our volcano experiment. Well, so are we. It turns out that the camera froze on half of our flight, so we don't know what happened. This GoPro camera had more batteries and is five generations newer than the other ones we sent out. Although it had the best video quality, it recorded the least amount of our flight. The sound still recorded, but it froze on one picture. Newer isn't, isn't always, always better. better. Okay, so when we got our payload back, uh, we didn't have any footage of the volcano going off. Uh, so we looked at the volcano and the outside was completely dry. But when we got it back, the balloon popped, so we don't know if it popped in the stratosphere or popped in some trees. We are sad that we did not get the volcano on camera. But hopefully next year's fifth graders use our idea and get it on camera. As you can see in the video, the pop bottle did expand when it was in the stratosphere. But when it came back to Earth, it crushed again.